Hi, this is Nelda, and today we're going to discuss space planning for a three to four room HDB flat. Um, so we're going to do some furniture arrangement focusing in the living slash dining area. So I believe that um, there's a smaller version of this floor plan, uh, but this is a standard uh, bigger floor plan for this kind of flat. So with a width about 3.6 meters and the length about 8.3 meters covering the living and dining area. So there's not much uh, you know, room to play around with, but I managed to break this uh, space up into three functional areas. So in this uh, discussion, I'm not going to uh, go into color and color schemes. So because we're just focusing on space planning, so I've kept the, uh, the furnishing quite neutral and white. Before I show you what I've done, I want to first take a look at what is uh, commonly seen uh, for this kind of flat, what other people do and what is popular. And that is to place uh, oversized furniture against the wall, as you can see here. And then the dining set is also placed against the wall. So this is up to preference, of course, there's not, nothing wrong with that. But for me, if you ask me personally, I feel that this kind of uh, layout, um, I will lose an opportunity to use the wall area as a storage space. So another, another way of styling this uh, flat, uh, which is quite popular as well, is to smash down the walls and create an open plan space with an open plan kitchen. So again, with all this space, I think that, uh, you know, furniture is still being placed against the wall, as you can see here. And uh, that leaves a very large thoroughfare here, maybe to facilitate moving around. So um, besides, I think smashing the wall may not be possible if you are living in a rental. So this is my recommendation, my style and my preference according to my needs. So for me, as you can see, uh, my style is uh, very homely and very warm. This is how I like it. So, um, and I also like a dramatic entryway and where I can put comes, I can put some stylish furniture as well. So if you enter this flat, you can see immediately your attention will immediately be drawn to the aesthetics of the art and the chandelier as well as the nice rug over here. And so there's a lot of texture and there's a lot of character as well. And there's also, uh, you know, some organic shapes around given by the plant. So, you know, there's some movement in the space as well. So what I've really done is you can see here that I've merged the sitting area with the dining area. I've not separated these two areas. It's really to encourage interaction and communication. And in good times, we do have guests and I do entertain a lot. So I want my guests to sit together and interact. And I want to uh, put them all in one place where I can see them, where they should do what guests do, which, to, which is to eat and drink and, uh, and be merry. So as a host, because the sitting area and the dining area, which are areas of entertainment, are not far away from each other, it makes it easier for me as the hostess to entertain my guests. So also here, because I have pulled the furniture away from the wall, so now there is empty wall space for me to work on. So in this case, I have, I have placed a table console here for storage purposes as well as decorative purposes. And I've added more decorations on the wall because I love art. So to beautify this place, I've installed wall art on the wall. So looking at it from this vantage point, um, I have styled this place really um, to be cozy and to encourage family bonding. So the television here you can see is quite discreet because this is a home which is uh, you know, not built, especially just to watch television. It's a place for interaction and conversation. But if you must watch television, which we all do, this couch is strategically placed in such a way that you can stretch yourself out on it and watch the television comfortably. And I have also placed furniture against the window, which is not commonly done. So it's actually very beautiful to place two armchairs there or maybe even a window seat so you can kind of enjoy the indoors as well as the, as the outdoors at the same time. So this is a place that I really like and I always incorporate into my designs. And um, this is what I call my thinking spot. And it's a place of isolation, let's say, if I want to do a bit of 
uh, reading and um, I feel poetic or I feel meditative and I want to have a, a cup of coffee on my own and do some contemplation. So I love this kind of small little nooks um, that I always include in all my designs as far as I can. <laughs> And last but not least, my dramatic entryway. So there's this nice majestic door over there. And you can actually place a rug here if you want, but I think that's not necessary because I do have a nice rug um, at the silent nook, my place of thinking. And it's easily seen from the doorway when you enter the flat. I feel that this is my kind of place, you know, it, uh, it's the space to move around and it's uh, fully furnished and the, all the areas are fully optimized and I can actually break the small space up into three functional areas. So if you feel that this is your kind of space, maybe you can start to move your furniture around and try out a different space planning tactic. Okay, so until then, um, give me your feedback and your comments and uh, see you again in the next video. Ciao, ciao.